I could never have imagined that you will walk into the galleries and have this overwhelming you know, sense of a landscape of desolation. Across the world, people were focused on this question of what is man, what is the human being in this moment? And so you really cannot help, I think, in some way, feel a direct connection to these, um, to these images. What is the fate of man after the destruction of man in this sense? These are very big questions, and I think, how can the work of art address and tackle these questions, and how can artists and re-engage with this subject matter that forced, you know, the world to contend with the incredible destructive power of the human imagination. Die Tatsache, dass zeitgleich an verschiedenen Punkten der Erde ähnliche Phänomene auftauchen, ähnliche Themen bearbeitet worden sind, das ist natürlich etwas, was dem, nach dem wir gesucht, was wir erforscht haben. Andererseits ist es für mich auch überhaupt nicht verwunderlich. At the opening address for Bandung, Sukarno of Indonesia says, we no longer have the oceans to protect us. We are no longer isolated. And so you cannot be separate. You cannot resist the modern. You cannot protect yourself, even with the Pacific, the Indian, the Atlantic oceans. Um, and so the image of the atomic bomb is recognized in studies done in the 1950s by 95% of the world's people. It is the, the most recognized image in the history of the world. This is, it's really 1945 with the atomic bomb that people around the world are truly conscious of each other for the first time and the conscious of us having a single fate. So you can see that artists who don't even speak the same language share a visual language for the first time. These are connections I think you can make visually, even without reading the individual histories. It's just very physically manifested. Ein entscheidender Punkt dieser Ausstellung ist ja auch, dass wir aufzeigen wollen, wie viele unterschiedliche Entwicklungen parallel, zeitlich parallel nebeneinander sich ergeben haben. Die Geschichte ist kein linearer Verlauf, sondern es zeigen sich immer wieder ganz, ganz unterschiedliche Tendenzen zur gleichen Zeit. overarching historical patterns that we want to talk about. Conflicts, the Cold War between the traditional and the, and the modern. There are um, individual um, identities, whether they're individual humans or um, individual nations finding their sovereignty and their autonomy for the first time. But the final one that I think maybe is the, the largest is that for the first time, the world is a single place. Something is missing, and that under these modern conditions, something is missing, and it's something that addresses humanity and the human condition directly. And this is part of where this room, New Images of Man, comes from. That was a central question around the world. Between abstraction and representation, what you were missing is the idea of um, the human center, some other way that's non-ideological non but addresses, addresses human concerns, morality, philosophy, meaning, spirit. There are many different answers. So in this room, New Images of Man, many of the artists put representation and abstraction together to refuse the choice. So war eben im Westen das Jahrzehnt nach dem Krieg jetzt nicht ausschließlich nur 
abstrakt gegenstandslos. Auch da gab es nach wie vor Tendenzen, die sich mit, mit Figuration auseinandergesetzt haben. Und das würde man alles verlieren, wenn man diese holzschnittartige Einteilung zwischen Abstraktion und äh, Realismus allein stellt. The Cold War we represent in this exhibition in the most obvious way. There is abstraction on the one hand, um, which represents Western democratic freedom or capitalism, as we may prefer to call it, and then um, socialist realism or communist ideology. And these are two versions of the modern. It's the contest. How will the more modern go forward? Will it be through state communism or will it be through democratic capitalism? So we wanted to present this face-off between two ideologies and present it as a real fact. But I also want to, even as much as we have these categories, I want to also begin to undo them in some way. What we are proposing in the exhibition is that the artists really did not make work thinking of themselves as being reduced to the past of the world where they came from. They were working with, their, you know, with an idea of a bigger understanding of the, play, of the place of their ideas in the larger artistic narrative. And what we have tried to do is to try to reassemble that artistic narrative and to ask the question, you know, how does this narrative fit into the received histories that we have had to deal with over the last 50, 60 years uh, as representing post-war art. <laughs>